RPFIEU underscore SAF solution allows you to create and download an XML SAF file. Review that the last notes included in collective note 1981139 for Portugal are implemented. Check video in KBA 1992216 and documentation in note 1972297 to learn how to create an XML SAF file for Portugal. To check the structure and the content of the XML file, you need to display it with an XML editor like First Object XML Notepad. To familiarize with the SAF file, please review the structure defined in the law by the tax authorities. Visit the Portuguese Tax Authorities website. See note 1885115 for further info about the PT SAF file. Portaria 274-2013 is the Portuguese SAP version 1.03. The law defines the SAP structure with the node sequence, mandatory fields, field length, predefined values and format field. In this first example, we use First Object XML Editor to display a Portuguese SAF file with Tax Accounting Basis I, Integrated Accounting and Billing Data. On the left-hand side of the tree view, you have the SAF sections that you can expand to navigate to the nodes and fields that contains the values. On the right-hand side, you have the XML file content with the tags of each element, section, node, field, and the values. Each element field has a start tag and an end tag with the value, or the child nodes in the middle. For example, account ID 731004. When a field is empty, it can be inserted like this. In header section, you can check fields like audit file version, tax accounting basis, fiscal year, start date, end date, date created, etc. In master file section, you can check the master data included in the XML. Master data of the general ledger accounts. Customer master data. Supplier master data. Product master data. Tax master data. In general ledger entry section, you can check the accounting documents for the selected period, total of entries, total debit, total credit, and the details of these documents. In source documents section, you can check the sales invoices included in the XML for the selected period, total of entries, total credit, total debit, and the details of these invoices. An XML file follows a schema. It contains the sections, nodes, and fields that will be created for each type of SAF file tax accounting basis, FIS, and also defined mandatory fields, predefined values, length, etc. An XML SAF file could have validation errors for several reasons, 
a mandatory field is empty, master data is missing, etc. In the Portuguese Tax Authority's website, you can download a local validation tool to check the file. Example, duplicate value. Which field is duplicated? Where is the value duplicated in the XML file? XML Notepad Editor allows you to use schemas that helps you to identify errors that you can check with the error list section. Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Save the schema on local disk C with the name set in the schema location. In the Portuguese Tax Authority's website, you can download the SAF schema for the Portuguese version 1.03. Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Account ID example is duplicated in the General Ledger Master Data section. In the KBA 2086997, the most frequent SAP validation errors for Portugal are explained. Example 2. Duplicate value. Which field is duplicated? Where is the value duplicated in the XML file? Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Customer ID example is duplicated in the Customer Master Data section. Example 3. Description field is empty and must be filled. Where is description field empty in the XML file? Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Description of the tax code example is empty in the tax master data. Example 4. Product code field is empty and must be filled. Where is product code empty in the XML file? Which is the invoice number and line with empty product code? Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Product code in the example invoice number, line 10, is empty. On the tab XSL Output, you have the XML file content view with the tags of each element. As product code is empty, you can find it like this. Product code in the example invoice number, line 10, is empty. Example 5. Product description field is empty and must be filled. Where is product description empty in the XML file? Which is the invoice number and line with empty product description? Which product code has an empty product description? Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Product description in the example invoice number line 10 is empty. Example, tax type, tax country region, tax code fields are empty and must be filled. Where is tax type empty in the XML file? Which is the invoice number and line with empty tax type? Double click on the error to find the field in the XML file. Tax type, tax country region and tax code in the example transaction ID line 10 are empty. Example 7, invoice customer ID constraint. 
Customer ID included in an invoice number of the Sales Invoices section is missing in the Master Data section. Where is the Customer ID in the XML file? Which is the invoice number with the example Customer ID? Find Customer ID. Customer ID example is in this invoice number. Customer ID example is missing in the Customer Master Data section. Example General Ledger Entries Customer ID Constraint. Customer ID included in a transaction ID of the General Ledger Entries section is missing in the Master Data section. Where is the Customer ID in the XML file? Which is the transaction ID with the example Customer ID? Find Customer ID. Customer ID example is in this transaction ID. Customer ID example is missing in the Customer Master Data section. Example, General Ledger Entries Account ID Constraint. GL account ID included in a transaction ID of the general ledger's entry section is missing in the master data section. Where is the account ID in the XML file? Which is the transaction ID with the example account ID? Find GL account ID. GL account ID example is in the line 001 of this transaction. Example, content is not allowed. The content of the file is inconsistent and doesn't correspond to an XML file. With XML notepad editor, an error is displayed explaining that the data is invalid. You can check the content using notepad. With First Object Editor, you can check the content of the inconsistent XML file. In this example, the file contains just special characters. Try to download the XML file again with the options available in the RPFIEU underscore SAFT and check that the file name and data input in the download step is correct. Use RPFIEU underscore SAFT download options. For more information about RPFIEU underscore SAFT, watch video in KBA 199-2216, documentation in note 197-2297 and KBA 208-6997 that explains the most frequent SAFT validation errors for Portugal. Review that the last notes included in collective note 198-1139 for Portugal are implemented. Thanks for your attention.